ஹாய் வெரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த சீரீஸ் ஃபேஸ் டிஃபைன் அண்ட் இந்த மாதிரி லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ ஹவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஹவு டு அப்லோட் அண்ட் பிரிங் அப் தி வி மேனேஜர் வி ஸ்மார்ட் அண்ட் வி பாண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் அண்ட் ஹவு டு கான்ஃபிகர் தி வி மேனேஜர் வித் விபிஎன் ஃபைவ் ஒன் டூ டு ஆக்சஸ் தி குவி இன் டுடே வீடியோ ஐம் கோன் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஹவு டு கெட் அ சர்டிஃபிகேட் ஃப்ரம் தி ரூட் சிஏ and upload into all this devices and get it signed and upload it again to the each devices okay so let's quickly jump on to a setup yes here you can see that we already uh, you know have the web page already the v manager is open so now the next step is to generate the uh, license so for that it's a ca license basically so let's quickly uh, use v manager for that so i have the commands so what you have to do is log into v shell use this command v shell i'll give this command so that it's easy for you to guys to copy and paste then first so there is no files and you can see only this rsa.pub is there then you have to use the open ssl command so this particular command yes then if you give the root ca key is generated now by using this we will generate this certificate so in certificate the main part is is to use the organization name as we configured in the system right in all the system we use or to as well as cisco so we have to use the same name while generating the certification so here you can see i generated the cert so here you can see root ca dot pem right click and enter so now what you have to do is you just have to copy this exactly without leaving even the begin and end certificate then go back to your gui then we manage gui and click on administration then click on settings so here uh, we need to configure our first time configuration which is the organization name which we configured in the cli so confirm it then give a save then we need to configure the v bond our v bond ip is 10.0.0.3 and we didn't modify the port so let it be the default port leave it and click on save okay then here here you have the controller certificate authorization it should be automated the next is the go here here you can see the certificate here so what we so you can see the controller certificate authorization so basically it is cisco so what we have to do is we need to move it to enterprise root certificate because we are using it in lab so what i'm going to i'm going to click edit then click here it will ask this to proceed it will just give you a warning whenever you do a change then what we are going to do is whatever that we copied from v manager the the certificate this is the root certificate root ca certificate so i'm going to paste it so i'm making sure that that i paste it correctly yes so i'm going to do import and save here you can see i didn't set csr properties i unclicked so make sure this unclicked now it will fan save it yes here you can see the certificate is successfully saved so what we are going to do we're going to see the 
certificates here it says there is no certificate click on like controller here it says the vmanage system IP but you see no certificate is installed and it is the device IP so now what you have to do is click here and click on generate CSR so once we have this generate CSR then we use this to sign the certificate now the CSR are generated so you don't have to download it you can click simply click close in case if you are, if you are using the external uh, CA root server and Windows server or any other tool to generate a certificate then you can download then use that to get it signed so I'm using vManager so I'm my CSR is already generated here so I'm going to use the next command here I will give this command anyway in the description so that is easy for you guys to copy and paste it so here you can see it so I already have this you can see it should match we manage if and CSR okay then the use the root CAPM this particular PEM root certificate and the root key then sign it as we manage that set for 2000 days just copy it and right click paste it now you can see getting CA certified now you can click ls l so now you can see it we have the signed certificate okay just simple copy this go here here you can see in the right side three dots click here then here you can see that you can highlight this right click here then you can click install certificate paste it then click install it will react to the process page so here you can see the status is scheduled so if you click here this plus button sign here then it will show us the process currently the device started applying it and you can see the in case if you face any error say, say like when you sign but uh, sometimes I have faced issue like the certificate signed was like timer will be different so and so here it will show you the success as if in case if it is fails it will show the error message here so my certificate installation is success here so next is I'm going to do the same process for vSmart and vBond click here and go to devices click on controller I'm going to add a controller I already have the vManager now I'm going to add vBond so vBond IP is 10.0.0.3 and username password is admin and admin so let me unclick I will generate it okay I did add but here you can see the certificate is not installed so click on this three dot then okay refresh it then go back in from device you have to go to the certificate then click on controller here click and generate the CSR Okay, you can download it in case if you use the external you can close it so here you can see now if I go to v manage ls l but you don't see this because the generator CSR is available on the v bond so here you can see ls l so here you can see the timing it is generated now so we use this CSR to get it I think the CSR let me check again okay sorry I just clicked here so 
that's why so let me click here let me click generate csr so i again re clicked on we manage and then generate the, the csr so that was my mistake so close it then it should be there in the v bond yeah here you can see that v bond and csr is there right we use this the same root ca and do the authentication here you can scp and then you can download the file locally i'll give the command also here so this is the command say cp admin at the right the ip address dump the file name and then the local file so if i give ls hyphen l so here you can see i have the v bond csr so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this certificate signed so let me verify this v bond then csr okay just copy this and paste this yes now it is generator so what we're gonna do is use this cert we bond sign certificate simply so copy this here and then go to the gui right so click here just make sure that we are gonna install the certificate here paste it then install Currently show the progress, the progress in progress. So let's do the refresh. Now it is success. The certificate installed successfully. So next final step, adding certificate for the vSmart. Go to the device. Let's add the vSmart also. Controller, vSmart. Then our vSmart management IP standard 0.0.2. .0 admin and admin is the username, password and you know this you can see that the protocol it uses so add it okay now we did add the device then again go to configuration then certificate They're the same step but make sure that you know we are doing it the following the correct steps it's generate the csr again the same procedure so now the csr is generator let's go to vsmart and verify ls l so here you can see the vsmart csr is available let's check the path slash home slash admin okay so we go to the v manager then let's get the file locally so that we will get this signed using the root ca certificate so copy this it's asking for the password admin admin okay okay sorry i just use this the last camera i need to change the ipf v smart instead of v bond so i doubt why i didn't ask for the certificate key to fingerprint key so admin admin yes now it's downloaded here so here you can see the vsmart so let's go back to the command here just vsmart and yes done until then we are good here right click paste yes it's generator now so let me copy this vsmart sign certificate it's we are good here let me go back to the GUI so just click here and install certificate then click on install just refresh in few seconds it will be done
Yes, guys, that's that successful. Go back here, click configuration and devices. You can see the controller here. Click on controller. You can see the certificates are installed. Click here, go back to monitor, overview. Let it get refreshed for some time so that. Okay, so now what we have to do is there's one more thing that uh, we have to do. Let's see why it's not showing up. Let's go to V Manager and exit this from Vision. Yeah, show controller local properties. Show controller local properties. Yeah, okay, so here it shows installed, installed. Let me check exit show controller show control local properties the command. Okay. Exit show control local properties. There it's six root CS change status is installed guys I actually forgot the very important configuration so that's why it is not even after installing certificate it's not showing it into my GUI which is something called the site ID it's kind of mandatory configuration so I missed it after doing the some troubleshooting that I found that I missed this so sometimes you know when you don't make the notes and start doing configuration then this kind of issues will occur I didn't configure this site ID so that's what I was thinking something like I was missing in the system configuration so now I realize that Now let me go to the GUI. Sometimes, you know, this happens. So now after adding the site ID, here you can see the V bond, V smart and V manager is available now. And I hope you guys enjoy watching the video and it is informationable to you guys. Uh, if you like my video, we can subscribe to my channel and do comment and share it with your friends. It encourages me to do more videos. Thank you very much for watching.